Jukebox Review, another Tuesday night right here on MadhouseTV.com. What a great night it's going to be. You know, we have crazy weather changes. I mean, one day it's hot, the next day it's cold, and it goes back and forth tonight. A little rain outside, but it's a great night to catch some of the great oldie music of rock and roll history. And no better person to share the microphone with me tonight than the historian himself, Mr. Paul Aranti. Paul, thanks, Mickey. Always a pleasure. Mickey, it's another it Tuesday night. It just got here all of a sudden. You oh, saw that's the that. sun. You know, it's the sun out there. <laughs> exactly. You know? Did you ever hear about the story about the drunken guy who was walking down the street? No. What is yeah, it? Somebody asked him, is that the sun or the moon up there? He says, what do I know? Do I live in this neighborhood? <laughs> you think it's amazing, right? That's how yes. it works, these jokes. Are. But anyway, hey, Paul, tonight, yes. you know, Frankie D's down in Florida. He's out down there with about 75-degree temperature. Yeah, I know. About beautiful. Degrees, I know, you know? rain and everything and stuff. And when I think of it, you know, around the Christmas holidays, I think about wintertime songs. Yes. And there were a lot of songs of that rock came and roll out. history that came out in, in the, the winter, winter time. time. Yes, there they, is. Either they started in the winter time or they be, they ended in the winter time. Right. Maybe the songs even sang about the winter, the winter time. time. Right. Tonight we're going to talk about some of those songs. What does winter mean to you? Winter means cold. Yeah. Hot chocolate. Yeah. Snow. Right. And Christmas. I'll never forget when they took me skiing. One oh, time. really? When skiing? Yeah. Okay. Jews well, don't ski. You know. <laughs> we got like two left feet, and I was up on top of a hill there. And all of a sudden, they said, well, you got to go across the mountain, you know? Uh -huh. I never skied before. Right, right, so right. I'm afraid to go across. So the guy was pulling me by my, my skis, you uh -huh. see? And then all of a sudden, I'm going across the mountain, and I look down, and it goes all the way downhill. I said, I can't go. <laughs> so they had to make a rope chain of two of human beings, to one over you. here and over here to get me so I couldn't <laughs> see the thing going down the hill. Wow. When I did turn and go down the hill, wow, they shot right <laughs> off my skis and went into the woods. We had to find my skis. <laughs> that was my story of oh, my skiing, skiing days, okay. yeah. But anyway... There's a lot of great groups that had hits during the wintertime, and there's a lot of groups that you thought had hits, never had a wintertime song. Groups and single artists. Don't forget we got a lot of single artists tonight, too. Yeah. One of the big songs of the wintertime was recorded by a guy by the name of Chuck Anderson Berry. Right. Remember and you know the, the funny thing, do? actually, Mickey, that song actually was for all year round because it was about turning 16. And that was it? What was the name of it? Sweet Little Sixteen. Sweet Little Sixteen. Now this clip here, let me tell you, this was done in 1958 at the Newport Jazz Festival. Mm -hmm. It's a live in color clip. And Chuck Berry was in his heyday. Oh, he is great. Wait at until you time. see this. He's dancing the duck walk. This is a fantastic clip. You all set to rock and roll? I sure am. Winter style. Here's Chuck Berry. in Boston, Pittsburgh, PA, it's the heart of Texas, the San Francisco Bay, all over the St. Louis, way down in New Orleans, all the cats want to dance with Sweet Little Sixteen, Sweet Little Sixteen, you just got to have about a half a million signed autographs. Her wallet filled with pins. She gets them one by one. I'm so excited. I watch her look at her run. Oh, mommy, mommy, please may I go. Rockin' on band, band, PA, deep in the heart of Texas, around the Frisco Bay, all over St. Louis, way down in New Orleans, all the cats wanna dance to eat little Texas.
rockin' on bandstand, Philadelphia, PA, deep in the heart of Texas, around the Frisco Bay, all over St. Louis, way down in New Orleans, all the cats wanna dance with sweet little sexy, sweet little sexy. We're back. We're back, it's Mickey. Live television. That's, That's it. What it is, huh? Chuck Berry. I mean, he's, he looked great. He did. That was his prime. That was in his, that was February 58. Did you listen to that clarinet player? It was tremendous. These I don't know who he music. was, but that was something. They Andy had. But that he you know, all with. of these groups, you know, we were listening before uh, to the Cadillacs. Cadillacs, the car, right. You know, you listen to these sax plays that these in guys In fact, I just remember, you know who that was? That was Jesse Powell's orchestra that back the Cadillacs up. That's who played the saxophone on the Cadillacs records. Jesse Powell was the guy. That is a lot of great saxophone players, right? King Those Curtis. King Curtis did a Sam lot of the Man Taylor. Sam the Man Taylor. Uh, who was the guy on the Teenagers song? Uh, so Jimmy Wright. Jimmy Wright played on those. Ruben Phillips and his orchestra from the yeah, Apollo. Just tremendous. I mean, these guys were really well, you know? Oh, man, they used all to get on their musicians. backs and do all sorts of stuff with those saxophones. Unbelievable. Just amazing. The winter time. Winter time was a time to record songs. There were a lot of songs, believe it or not, that were recorded in the winter time. That had summertime hits to them. Right. Know? We're going like, to get to one of those later, Who in not fact. tonight? It wasn't recorded in the summertime. It was, it was recorded, recorded in the wintertime. It was the wintertime. You know? Right, but it became a, a hit. Yeah, it became a hit. Time. Did you ever think that the Beach Boys record songs in the wintertime? No. No, but you'll find out a little bit later yes, on. Yes, you will. Right? One of the guys, who uh, actually, they were brothers. Right. That did a couple of wintertime songs was a group called the Everly Brothers. Right. Crying in the Rain was one of them. Uh-huh. Bird Dog was another, but we got a clip of them doing a beautiful, beautiful song, one of the most romantic songs, um, which was Let It Be Me. Yeah. And this came out in January of 1961. Now, you know, there's, there's no replacement. I, mean, I think the Everly Brothers were probably the greatest duo. Yeah, there was no, ever, one, there was no one else like them. They were yeah. very, very, there was no other yeah. two brothers that did stuff like the Everly Brothers did. They were and very, had very that unique. kind of harmony. A beautiful harmony, harmony they had. Outrageous. Yeah. They had country, rock and roll feel mixed together, which was a really nice combination. They were on Cadence Records, right, and charted with so many great oh, songs. Oh, Mickey, I, at least at least forty charted records. Yeah, just fabulous. And you remember the, the big one was Dream and Wake Up Little Wake Susie Up Little Susie, and, yeah. And Kathy's right and Claudette and, and Claudette, and no no end to it. Bird Dog and so yeah. on. And so Later forth. on in their shows, they used to do some Lucille, which right. was recorded by the, uh, Little Richard, Richard, right? And they, yeah, they, they threw did. some of that stuff in there, and they were great. But they this were. song is called Let It Be Me. Is a the Ugly Buzz. I bless the day I found you. I want to stay around you now and forever. Don't ever leave me lonely. Hear that you love. That's one of the great DJs down there. It is. Of course, but it's Jerry Butler. Right. Who actually did and Betty Everett. Betty Everett that did that, that Let It Be Me. Right. They know? covered it, yeah. You know, uh, you talk about all these great groups, right, Paulie? We got something coming up on Saturday night. 
right, which is called Saturday. Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. I don't know if you can see this here, you know, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. But anyway, we're doing this for kids, you know, for toys, for tots. And we got some great groups there. Larry Chance and girls are coming by the Belmore Theater with us. And right. uh, we got Encore, great group. Uh, yes. Twin Gold is going to be there. And the, the Teen Station. Who were really good. By. They were here a few weeks ago. Yeah, with so us. this is going to be a great show. And you can still get tickets. All you got to do is call 516 822 9612. 516 822 9612. And you'll be joining us Saturday night at the Belmore Movie Theater with right. Larry Chance and the Earls, Encore, Twin Gold, and the Teen Stations. And it's a small theater, so that there are not too many tickets left. That's right. But I hope you can get their tickets. So come on down Saturday. and grab it. Do that, okay? What we're gonna do is take a little break. When we come back, we got some more great songs of the winter time by some of our favorite rock and roll stars. Hang in, don't go away. We'll be right back. Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies' night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas with a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. It's not, shh, trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. I'm Tommy Marr. I'm down in St. Bart's having a good time. A lot of people at this time, they like to go have a little cocktail. But you know what I do? I'm going to watch MadhouseTV.com. You got that right. We're back right here on Mickey B's Jukebox Review. Paulie, on, right. of course, yes. MadhouseTV.com. Another Tuesday night. 8 o'clock to 9, we relive all those great memories of yes. rock and roll history. Today, we're featuring the great songs of wintertime. Right. Now, when we talk about a puppy yes. that's in love, who do you talk about? <laughs> I talk about Paul Anka and Annette Funicello. And Funicello. Because he was in love with her from afar. Yes. He was also in love with another young lady. From Anir, too. I mean, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he also wrote a song, Diana, about his babysitter that he was in love with as well. Now, Wintertime, Paul Anka had a couple of songs. Yes, he had um, You Are My Destiny in the Wintertime yep. and A Puppy Love in the Wintertime, which came out in um, February of 1960. A lot of guys and were And here he is yeah. on um, Dick Clark's show. You all set? Yes. For a little Puppy Love? Yep, Paul Anka. One of the greatest entertainers of all time. Here he is, Mr. Paul Anka. Number nine and ten, they're new. Let's check number eight in the top ten board. Let It Be Me by the Everly Brothers. Number seven, Running Bear, What in the World has Come Over You, Lonely Blue Boy, number five. Number four, Theme from a Summer Place. Number three is Handyman. Number two, Where, When. Number one is Teen Angel. One through eight, and this is number nine. Somewhere. Yeah. Huh. 
That's Beyond the Sea by Bobby Darren and this. Is number 10. <laughs> now, if I may, here's a man that turns out hits like... Uh, I don't know. He, he is a fantastic individual. Incidentally, he's embarking on a new career. He starts his nightclub tours very soon. He opens in Washington, then goes on to Las Vegas. It's a new thing for him. We wish him all the best. But in the meantime, he's got another hit record, a thing called uh, Puppy Love. Here's Paul Anker. Tell them all it Please tell them it isn't fair To take away my only dream I cry each night My tears for you My tears are all I think we better run just all of you here. Thank you ever so much for He debuted the song right there in the Dick Rock show. Was, Dick was counting out all of those great hit records. Right. That, this broadcast had to be from January of 1960. Now, did you see what the number one song was in January of 1960? It was a summertime. <laughs> it was themed from a summer place. Yeah. And that was number one in, this, in February. Isn't that something? That's what happened a lot of times. It was songs on the summer, on wintertime. Right. It didn't make a difference when you recorded it. Right, and that song would go to number two in the country in February, the next following month. And also another uh, song he had in the uh, winter time was I Miss You So. Mm -hmm. And like we said so before, you, right, and You Are My Destiny, yep. which is in February 59. And actually. Paul Anker comes from Attawa. Canada. That's right, a very cold place too. Yeah, why was it so cold? Because it was up north. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, when he wrote that song about his babysitter and all, I mean, it was right. actually That his was his first hit. Yeah. In 57, that yeah. was Diana, yeah. Yeah, so that was great. Anyway, here's something which is interesting. What's that? Now you reverse it. Okay. Now you talk about a summertime group. <laughs> right. That sings a winter song. Well, not a winter song, a song in the I mean, winter, in winter time. Yeah, in the winter time. But they had so many great songs. Oh, they did. The Beach Boys, of course, yeah. we're talking about. With God Only Knows and Soup John B and Little Deuce Coop. The only time I remember they ever sang something Good about a winter song was a, was a Christmas song that they did. Do. Right. You remember what that one was? Not off the top of my head. Yeah, it was, uh, I forgot. The, the, in my, in my Lonely Room, Be True to Your School. No, but they had one that was made just for, for Christmas, right. like everybody else did. You know? Well, everyone did. But this is one so where this uh, is from, we have a little fun on this one. Yes, we have a lot of fun on this yeah. song. This is from February. I can't even read. I wrote, 
This is from February 64. And this is a great live clip of the Beach Boys singing Fun, Fun, Fun. I wonder if they got their surfboards. Let's take a look. <laughs> started as Kenny and the Cadets in California. And then they were known as the Pendletones. Right. Came the California. Their first yeah. record was called Surfing. Yeah. There's another great song. They have everything. Surfing USA. She's real fun. Surfing Safari. Help Me Rhonda. Good Vibrations. Good Vibrations. God Only Knows. Yeah, Sloop on. John B. This but one, one of my favorite songs by the Beach Boys was a song called Don't Worry Baby. Another great song. But that song was actually written by Brian Wilson for the Ronettes. Yeah. But what happened was, Phil couldn't get the writing credits on it, so he didn't want the Ronettes to record it. So the Beach Boys wound up recording and having a hit with it. And that's, uh, that's that what actually happened, yep. right? OK, you know what we're going to do, Paulie? Let's take, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do one more clip Okay. Yeah, before we take clip. a break, because I happen to love this woman's voice. Me too. She came from England. Do you remember right. the movie called Goldfinger? Gold yeah. She had a very, very big voice. She had a very big personality on stage. Very beautiful woman, too. Yeah, that, that gold finger was a James Bond Right, movie. of course it was, Double yeah. O Seven. What was one of your favorite 007 movies? Goldfinger. Goldfinger? Definitely what was the one, the what was the one with uh, Ursula Andress in there? Oh, I know the one you're talking about, too. She comes up with the bikini bathing suit yeah, on yeah, out yeah, of the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what was that? Was that, that, that wasn't Goldfinger. That was no, another. no, it was another one. Uh, yeah, it'll come up. It'll come it'll, up. It'll come to us. Yeah. Um, anyway, so this performance of Shirley Bass sees the England at Royal Albert Hall. This was done a couple of years after the record came out, which the record came out in January of 65. This was done in about 1973 or so. Went all the way to the top of the charts. It did, yeah. It was she sounds huge, fabulous. It was a huge, huge hit record. It was number one yeah. for like 10 weeks. Yeah, she, and she also did Diamonds Off Forever. Forever, uh, yes, she did. Rock. But this is the one that uh, brought a fame instantaneously, right? right? Yep. Here's Shirley Bassett.
the kiss of death from Mr. Goldfinger. Kiss of death from Mr. Goldfinger. Pretty girl, beware of his heart of gold. His heart is cold. He loves only gold. Only gold. He loves. Absolutely fantastic there. Of course, Shirley Bassey. She yeah. looked great. She sounded great. You know, Very Eartha dramatic, Kitt. the way she performs it. Eartha Kitt, who I met many times, had that certain... Uh, the, charisma. The charisma, yeah. She had that same kind of thing, she abrupt did. notes at the end, you know. Right, very exaggerated style and everything. Yeah. Oh, very glamorous woman, Absolutely too. Absolutely fantastic. You know, we mentioned this before, Paulie, but i got to mention it again. Because it's coming get up some, Saturday. they get some money for kids there. And, of course, our uh, show place at Belmore Movies. Larry Chance and the Earls coming by with Encore, Twin Gold, the Teen Stations this Saturday night. Make sure you come on down and give us a call at 516-822-9612 as we'll be rocking around the Christmas tree for our kids, all right? So make sure you do that, 516-822-9612. When we come back, we got some more great music from the wintertime favorites of some of your favorite artists right here on the Mickey B Jukebox Review on MadhouseTV.com. We'll be right back. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1Entertainment.net for a free, no-obligation price quote, or call 631-758-3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. For prof We're back right here on MadhouseTV.com. Of course, Mickey B's Jukebox Review every Tuesday night between 8 and 9. We relive the memories of rock and roll history with some of the great groups and single artists of rock and roll. We try to come up with a little theme every week. And of yes, course, we this do. being the wintertime, right. you figure out a better way of volume number one, wintertime favorites. Songs, right, right, exactly. Now, tell me a little bit about this group, uh, Paul. You got the, 
Actually, no, it's not a group. It's Frankie it's, it's Avalon. Frankie Avalon. He had a lot of groupies around him. That's he did, he had, sure yeah. did. He had a lot of women around him. Frankie was one of those teen idols. Good yeah. Looking, even till today. Still looks good. Looks fantastic. Yeah. yeah, met him a couple of times. He's trim. Yeah. Nice hair comb back. Looks great. A lot it of sounds hits. great. It had a lot of hits. Yeah. But we're actually going to look, look at a clip of his first hit record, which, you know, label it was, right? Yeah, Dee Dee Dinah was on the uh, Chancellor record right. label. Uh, and Philadelphia, uh, of course. Did he hold his nose on He his held his nose when yeah. he recorded I don't know whoever song. came up with that idea. So I don't know who came up with that idea. Hold your nose, and, uh, and meanwhile, it goes all the way to number one. Right, so go, go, go figure. And it was January 58, this was. And again, this is on the clock. So now in this clip, the song had already been out, already it already became a hit when mm -hmm. he did this. You all set? Yep. Here he is, Frankie Avalon. Avalon. You remember a year ago? This fellow had made other records. This was the biggest one that he'd made up to that point. Put him on the map. For Frankie Avalon, this, I think, was his good luck song. A song called Dee Dee Dinah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right there, of course, Frankie Avalone was his yes, name. Yes, yep. Named Frankie Avalon. And uh, you can see, Paul, he had those steps. certain steps. Yeah, he did. It wasn't the Elvis Presley. It right. It was just a little move, a little shoulder shrug and some finger snapping. Right. And that was him. He turned a little sideways and all. So did Bobby Darren. Bobby yes, Darren he did. Bobby had a little bit of a move, too. He did. But Frankie wound up to be one of the greatest uh, singers of uh, oh, entertainers yeah. on the stage. And actors, too. Yeah, actors, too. Did a lot of movies, and so did uh, Fabian. Right, he did uh, also. Paul Anka, I think, might have appeared in a couple of movies. A couple of movies you know? he did, definitely, yeah, sure. Yeah. But uh, Frankie was a talented guy, and is still a talented guy. Yes. And they got the you know, boys of bandstand out there all the time. You they know? do. Anyway, I Just love that kind of song. Just a little bit yeah. of a trivia about Frankie Avalon. Now, the song by Connie Francis. Mm-hmm. Frankie, of course, you know, when she first started out, Neil Sedaka and Harry Greenfield wrote all of her songs. Right. So they said to her, Connie, what's the next kind of song you want? She said, I want a ballad, but it's got to be a dreamy song about a dreamy guy. So since Frank is such a popular name, Frankie Avalon is my best friend. Let's make a song called Frankie, and it became a huge hit for her. That's what happened over there. A lot of things happened like that. I mean, uh Carol King did a song about Neil. Oh, Neil, right. Yeah, and, and she wrote, Oh, Carol. And Neil wrote this song for her. Yep. Oh, Carol, right? So there were a lot of great songs that were written against Switching different people. stuff back and forth. Yeah. Yes. Got a little hiccup in there. I mean, <laughs> that came from. There's no Frankie Lyman shuffle. That's what I mean. <laughs> Frankie, Frankie Avalon Frankie shuffle. Frankie Avalon. Anyway, 
uh, Dee Dee Dinah holding his nose and all. Yeah. You come to these winter great songs that are out there, everybody had one of them, you know? Yes, for sure. Uh, one of the greatest groups of rock and roll history was a group called the Drifters. Drifters. Of course. And, uh, and they had a song in the wintertime. Tell right. us about that one. Um, one of their biggest six, actually, this is in, came out in February of 1960. The song was called This Magic Moment. Now, this clip was of the Drifters nowadays with Charlie Thomas leading the mm -hmm. group. Of course, Benny King was the original yeah. lead singer, but there was no clip showing Benny King singing right. it. So, um, so you know. You've got to remember something else. You had Clyde McFadden. Right. I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas. Yes. With Bill Pinckney doing, right. doing the bass. bass. yeah. At that time, one of the biggest Christmas, Christmas songs, songs ever. Yeah, right, sure. Everybody yeah. does it. And that one was probably recorded in the wintertime. Already. Yes. But I'm going to check that out on this uh we watch this clip. Okay. You all set? Yep. This one is this uh, magic moment, I think. Yes, right? it is. The Drifters. They brought us here to do for you the song that we recorded way back, way back in 19... Uh, 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 back then, you know. Listen here. We do hope to bring a few of your songs when they were stealing the hubcaps. And now they're stealing the whole damn car. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, they sit back and listen to the repertoire of the drifters and say, uh, This magic moment. Thank you, yeah. So different and so new, but light in the other. Mickey B here with a little bit of this magic moment. Yes. Charlie Thomas, one of my favorites. I know. Great yes. guy. And I'll tell you a little story about him soon. But remember when I was talking about White Christmas? Yes. I believe it came out in the wintertime. It absolutely did. Winter December, 55. December of 1955, it starts as their first charted drift song. Isn't that something? Yeah, because yeah. they really didn't have any hits before then. Right after that, they had Fools Fall in Love. And, of course, you know who did that one. Johnny Moore. Johnny Moore. And he repeats later on. He leaves and comes and back. goes to England. 
Right, because remember, he came back, he did Under the Boardwalk and Sand in My Shoes, shoes and Saturday Night at the Movies. And great songs he did. And after that, they had Hypnotized, of course, with Johnny Moore, right. Moonlight Bay, Drip Drop with Bobby Hendricks, lead singer, and Tavi, Tommy Evans, the bass. He was the one. bass singer. He was yeah. the bass singer on Please Stay also. That's right. Now, don't you have a story about Tommy Evans and Please Stay in something? Yeah, absolutely, because it was the wintertime uh, of 1961. Okay. And we're invited to do a show, Tico and the Triumphs, you know, with Paul Your group, yes. Michael Barry Beck in Camden, New Jersey. Wow. Okay. So we're going to Camden, New Jersey. Who's on the show? The Drifters, the Dream Lovers, Bobby Comstock at Accounts. Wow. Kenny Dino, your mom said you're crying in your sleep last night. Wow. Uh, Jimmy uh, Rivers and the Tops, too, and they call it Puppy Love. Love. Yeah, and uh, this was what was going on. So, okay. So all of a sudden, you know, I'm only 15 and a half years old. Right, right. Tommy Evans, I guess, he says, he comes over and says, hey, Mick, you have a little money? And maybe get a little scotch. And says, have <laughs> I'm only 15 and, and, and a half years and, old. And I, and I don't drink, you know. <laughs> so all of a sudden, what happens? He gets it, and he starts drinking a little bit. had a little bit too much. Uh -huh. And uh, before the, uh, uh, the Drifters went on, the Dream Lovers came off about uh, two songs before. Mm -hmm. Tommy Evans is laying on the floor. Oh. They don't know what to do. They took off his clothes, put on the uh, Dream Lovers, the leader of the Dream Lovers, put on uh, his tuxedo, and the came out with the Drifters, and you never knew the Drifters. And he did Please Stay. And the Drifters sounded <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> That's a true story. That's, That's a, a great story. It's a great story. Yeah, and, and I love that. I'll tell you, the winter time for me was great because I also did a show up in uh, Rhode Island with the Marcells. Okay. We did Merry Christmas. Right, because that was a Christmas time, time song. And right. they introduced it on that, that, that TV show. And, and we got the Marcells. As a matter of fact, Marcells are coming up February on the show. February 7th. And we're doing February 7th. We'll tell you more about that. But what we're going to do is take a little break. You're here on MadhouseTV.com with Mickey B, the Prince of Rock and Roll. And Paul Arante. And of course, Paul Arante, historian. Frankie D is on a surfboard in Florida. <laughs> and when we come back, we've got more winter songs when the Prince of Rock and Roll returns. Could switching to GEICO really save you 15% or more on car insurance? Do dogs chase cats? GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. We are back right here on the Mickey B. Jukebox Review, Tuesday night as you relive the memories of rock and roll history. Yes. Today we feature the wintertime songs. Right. right. And uh, I tell you, I used to love those wintertime songs. I mean, there were a lot of great shows that came out in the wintertime. We do a lot of wintertime shows. Yes, know, we do. Be. Matter of fact, I got something to come up. It's called the Winter Spectacular. There you go, February Gold 7th. Golden Oldies, February 7th. So here it is. And a lot of these groups we don't have. Marcells. Right. Like we mentioned, Merry Twisters, everybody, Christmas. okay? The happenings, a little different because they sang scenes in September. September, right. They'll be joining us. The John Mells with a little bit of soap. Uh, Lenny Coke on the chimes once in a while. Vito Basambo is coming back. Yes. With Gloria with the group. I mean, they are fantastic. And Unchain Melody. And Unchain Melody and all those songs. Fireflies with You Are Mine. And right. The Eternals with Rocky. Well, they were the hot. Jungle. Yeah. They were they in the jungle, hot. so they were hot. Yeah, they were hot. And this is on September, actually. February 7th. February 7th, <laughs> yeah. The Golden Oak Spectacular. I tell you, I love all these groups. Make sure you get your tickets. 516 822 Nine six one two is the number for those shows, Paulie. Yes, Paulie. Before we were talking about Paul Anka. Yes. All right. Now, Paul, 
really wasn't a tall guy. And he was a short I guy. Mean, he was about high five, heels, six. He might have been five, six. Right, five exactly. Heels, but he was, he was a great, great entertainer, you know? Are we on now? It just went off. Now you get prepared to come back. We're back. We're back. We've it's gone been. for a quick second. Anyway, back to Frankie Avalon. Yeah, Frankie Avalon and, and Paul Anka. I'm sorry, Paul Anka. Paul Anka, Anka. So, yes. so Paul Anka was a, he, he was one of the greatest voices. Short guy, about five foot six. But uh, we spoke about him, and now uh, we talk about Annette Funicello. Right. And Annette Funicello is uh, somebody that sang about Paul. Right. Tall Paul. Because it wasn't short Paul. It was tall okay. Paul. It was tall That's Paul. me. She must have been looking. Oh, she might have been yeah. talking about you. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now, this song came out in January of 1959. Yeah. Now, this clip here is from 1990. It's when she was still performing before she got sick. And, and, and I'll tell you, she was my favorite. She, everybody loved her. Oh, family. yeah. You know, she right out of that Mickey Mouse days. Yes. But she was such a, she had the smile, she had the look. She She's had beautiful, the shape, she beautiful, had all, beautiful girl. Yeah, and she did all those great movies with, with Frankie Avalon. Frankie Avalon. Right. So you got the connection with Frankie Avalon and Paul Anka with her. And there you are. And we're all set for Tall Paul. Yes, we are. Are you all ready? I'm ready. Here's Annette Funicello. <laughs> And had the opportunity, you know, of meeting her kids. Yes. And her first husband, Jack Gelati, in Hawaii. And, right. Uh, and then, you know, speaking of Frankie Avalon, uh, when we were doing the Musket Dish with the telethon, mm -hmm. and he said, uh, you know that Jack Gelati was her husband, you know? Right. And I said, wow, I gave her uh, the kids the T-shirt. T-shirts. But I didn't know that their mother was in that from a cello, and I would have gave her a shirt. I would have loved to have spoken to her. Of course. She was a doll and a talented woman and looked great. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit more about her. She had two other hit records besides Tall Paul. She had Pineapple Princess mm -hmm. and El Dio Mio. Yeah, that was a good song, too. And she was on Vista Records. Yes. Which is distributed by Walt Disney World. Right. Because even though she, was, she wasn't a Musketeer anymore, she was still under contract to Disney. So that's why she recorded on their, on their label. Yeah. And not only that, but she did so many beach blanket bingo oh, movies. Oh, Muscle right? Beach Party, yeah. Beach Blanket Bingo. Right. With, of course, Frankie Avalon. Frankie Avalon. And, and a lot of those movies, yeah, Stevie Wonder was in one of those movies. Um, Sam the Shambers was in one of those movies. Um, the Handels, a lot of the artists yeah. at the time were always yeah. stars in those movies. And I'll tell you something, those are classic pictures. Oh, they are. They are. They are standards. They're great. Everybody loves those movies. 
and then they made Back to the Beach. Which was great. I loved which was Back great. to the they Beach. got back together again years after. I think it was in the 80s. Right? It was 87 it came out. Yeah. I loved that. And Connie Stevens is in that movie uh, with them. Dick Dale's in that movie about with Connie them. Connie Stevens, 16 Reasons Why I Love You. And what was, her, uh, what was the name of the uh, TV show she was uh, in? Uh, 77 Sunset Sun Sisters. With Cookie Burns. Cookie Burns, yes. What another gorgeous lady. Just amazing. Yes. So much talent. So much talent that we're recording records that were actually in TV shows and also in movies. And here's another piece of trivia about Connie Stevens that no, no many, not too many people know. You know the song um, by the Stylistics, Bet You by Golly Wow? Yes. She did the original version of that song. Did she really? Yep. And they had so many hits. Forget yes, about they the did. Stylistic. Unbelievable. But one of the people that had the, probably one of the most number one hit records was a I guy by the say... name of Elvis Aaron Presley. Yes. What do you say about like that guy like that? Well, he talked winter songs. He was born in the winter time. Right. Of course, you know he's going to have some yep. winter songs, though, there's no question about that. January the, uh, the 8th, right. 1935. Which his birthday. Elvis was born. And what a talented guy this guy was. This is really the story of the king of rock and roll. Yes. I mean, how this guy was a truck driver, worked for, of course, in an Tupac, electric In Tupac, company. Mississippi. Yes, and wound up uh, going into Sun Records. Sun Records, right. He caught a song for his mom. That's and, a white mama. And they actually thought he was, uh, you know, he had the black sound. Yeah. And a white guy. And he it was sure song did. after song after song. Tell us about some of Elvis's hit records. <sighs> what do you start with? Hound Dog, Don't Be Cruel. Little Sister, Good Luck Charm. Heartbreak Hotel. And the Love Me first Tender. Ones, yeah. yeah, Double Sided, look, Don't Be Cruel and J Hound Dog. J uh, Jailhouse Rock, yeah. Teddy Bear. Right. Now, Love Me Tender was really not the song, or was not the movie title. It was no. the Reno Brothers. Right, exactly. And they had changed it to, to Love, Love Me Tender. Love Me Tender. Yeah. Can't Help Falling in Love With You is, is, is another song. Yeah. And remember when you talk about Jailhouse Rock, that Elvis actually choreographed the whole Yes, dance the whole segment. scene, yep. Yeah. And he was, he was a very talented guy. Very, very talented man. Tupelo, Mississippi. Also loved gospel music, too. Yeah, and when you talk about gospel, who backed them up? The Blossoms. The Blossoms. And then the Blossoms. Sweet Inspirations also. Both crews yes, backed them yes. up. Yes, On a 1968 comeback. Those were the Blossoms. Blossoms were in the background. And that was really great because you wore that leather outfit. Yes. There's a lot of times for Elvis. I mean, Elvis came out with the sport jacket. Then he came out with the gold lamey suits. the white suits. And, or, or the right. white outfits. Then he had the leather, the leather outfit. Then he had the Hawaiian outfit. outfit. Yes. Then he had the karate uh, high neck uh, right. collars. And uh, he was just, he, he designed his own, his own Lord wardrobe, wardrobe yeah. stuff, his talented, rings, talented the TCP man. around his neck, right. the Lisa Marie airplane, and of course, no bigger house in the world than we know the White House, but Graceland. That's right. Everybody knows about that when they go visit Elvis. But here's a clip that came out in the wintertime. Tell us about January this January 57. Now, this, this wasn't one of his bigger hits, and that's kind of why I picked it, of course. It's such a great song. It happens to be one of my favorite Elvis songs, which is a song called Too Much. Yeah. Now here we are on the Ed Sullivan Show with the Jordanaires right behind him, backing him up, singing it live. Well, let's do it right now. The year was? 1957. On the Ed Sullivan Show, here's the king of rock and roll. Well, honey, I love you. I know too much. I need your love and I know too much. I want the thrill of I know you. I can't hold you, I know too much. Now you got me leaving, won't you leave me broken heart and call love you too much? Well, every time I kiss you, I know sweet lips. I can hear my heart go, I know flip, flip. I'm such a fool for your charms. Take me back, oh baby, in your arms.
Yeah, boy, do I love that clip. That's Me too. Elvis Presley. And you notice they the couldn't Jordan show is. his legs. Yeah, couldn't show his legs. Nope. They, they had could've... to do it from the waist down. They had to cut him off. Isn't that something? Because on the first show, I think he did a little bit. Of yeah, that and they, they didn't like that. I mean, today he's a saint. I mean, he's you know, right. When it goes on the TV today, of course, forget, forget about, about it. it. Right. It's unbelievable, right? Well, let me tell you, time goes by when you're having fun it right does, here. It's Mickey that B. was a good show. Mickey B. Jukebox Review as we played some of those great Winter Time favorites. And uh, Paulie's always a pleasure always seeing you. Always a pleasure, you. Mickey. We'll and, see everybody uh, on Frankie Saturday. Day. That's Sorry. right. Saturday we'll be at, uh, of course, with Larry Chance and, and the Earls and rocking around the Christmas tree, Encore, Twin Gold, Teen Stations. Call us at 516-822-9612 to get tickets. And Frankie D., I know you're on your surfboard down there. God bless you. Take care of yourself. From Mickey B., Paul Arante. Until the next time, there's only one thing I can say. <laughs> Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time. Sweetheart, well, it's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must say, Oh, good night, sweetheart, good night. Good night, sweetheart, well, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart, well, it's time. I really must say, oh, good night, sweetheart, good night. Well, it's three o'clock in the morning. And baby, I just can't get right. Well, I hate to leave you, baby. I don't Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go.